Some time ago, the wire services and newspapers carried a story out of San Francisco describing the first satanic wedding ceremony ever performed. The pictures showed a nude woman lying on the altar behind the guest, whom you see now, the Reverend Anton Zandor LaVey, who is the founder and high priest of the First Church of Satan. Anton Zandor LaVey uses uh, as somewhat of a credo this timeless quote, Remember, evil backwards spells live. <laughs> Somehow that never occurred to me. It never occurred to me until one of my disciples brought it forth, and I imagine uh, it's uh, quite true with many of us. How often do you have, you have to shave your head to make uh, it shiny like a devil? I, I have to put Vaseline on it as well to keep it shiny. I shave it once a day. Can I give a plug? Is that for the that? odor you're giving off now, Vaseline? No, that's it'll fool me. That's musk. That's, that's musk. That's the goatee scent you smell. For sure, it's not frankincense and myrrh. No. Now, that. <laughs> now what is this uh, ring you're wearing here? Looks like it's weighing your hand down. Well, no, it's a magical ring. It is. I have little children rub it, make a wish, and it comes true. Little children come near you? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> little they, children. They, what and kind animals. of a wish did that ring ever make come true? Well. I would say uh, a great many wishes, but we won't go into them. Now, you call yourself a satanic priest. Yes. Is that the opposite of God? No, because Satan is a god, too. Mm -hmm. Well, what are you, then, the, uh, the dirty pope or what? Oh, I guess you could call me that if you want to say the black pope or the dirty pope or the, the uh, advocate of, for example, the kingdom of night or darkness. No one's ever come forth so far and spoken up for the devil. Everybody that's made rules and regulations concerning the devil or the devil's work, the devil's activities, have been people that have been very righteous people, people during crusades, people... Well, I'm not too righteous, but on the other hand, I think you're a bit of a ding -a let's face it. Either that, or you're selling some kind of a snake oil. You've got very shifty little eyes, by right, it's very close together, too. They tell a story about you. Oh, well, yes, of course. What is the story that you'd like to tell us? The story is that I think that the devil has been the guy that's kept the church in business for many, many years. Without him and the concept of evil, where would the church be? Well, where would Notre Dame be if they couldn't play Southern Methodist? That's They've right. got to have opposition. Is that that's the point right. you make? They have to have so opposition. So you're supplying, what, a loyal opposition? Well, I'm supplying a much-needed opposition. The word Satan only means adversary, as I said. It's uh, not... Uh, you, you never use the word devil? Devils, of course. Devils are God. The original concept of the word devil is taken from a word meaning God. But this, this name, Anton Zandor LaVey, that's got to be a put on. That's, uh, no, be, it's certainly huh? not. I, when I was a young boy, I was quite embarrassed about what the S stood for in my middle name. Because Zandor. Anybody with a... S-Z-A-N-D-O-R, right? Right. Now, what, is the, what does that name mean? Does it have any meaning? Well, it's a very common name in the Balkan countries of Europe, Romania, Hungary. Mm -hmm. It's just like George or Frank would be here. Now, uh, what country do you come from? Transylvania? Or what well, not really. My family, part of my family is from Transylvania. Is it necessary to kill you by driving a stake through your heart, or will just a knock on the head do it? I will never die. You won't? No, of course not. I've made arrangements. <laughs> How do you like that? A frozen devil, right? Huh? That's a good point. You're going to be frozen. This is a, uh, now, that's a great thing, I think. Incidentally, this freezing, because I think we all want to live forever. I think basically oh, we, none of us want to die. We're like little children that are put to bed before we really want to go to bed. And if we, I hate to sound like Goldwater, but in our hearts, none of us really want to die. We all know that death is something. You don't know how many pe people are going to come to your funeral. You don't know what your wives, your husbands are going to be doing afterwards. People don't want to die because they don't want to miss anything afterwards. And they're afraid for what they're going to be missing. So are, are you saying then that you're going to make arrangements to have yourself frozen? If it's at all possible. If it's not, I'll make other arrangements. Of course. What do you mean other arrangements? Well, well I have Let's my own take theories. the freezing first now. I could just picture this now. About 10 days after you're frozen, some minister is going to tiptoe over and turn off your electricity. Or bring a blow, <laughs> or bring a blow torch in. Yeah. Well, a blowtorch would be you'd make, you'd make you right at home. What are the other arrangements? Well, oh, there's another make? thing. You see, the concept of the devil is on a multitude of of uh, interpretations. Now, one of the realms of hell, Tartarus, the lowest of all, is supposed to be a very frigid place, like a gigantic refrigerator. This is where Lucifer lives, and there's nothing hot at all about it. On the other hand, the lake of fire that's described in the Bible, 
was described to Eskimos by Christian missionaries at one time, and they, not having enough heat, all wanted to know how do we get there. And this is why it never has really uh, done too well up there. Well, look, Dev, yeah, you don't is. mind if I call you Dev. Dev, yeah, right? call me anything you want, as long as it's uh, not obscene. Were you ever a religious fellow? I, I would say not particularly. You're a young man. How I'm a religious you? fellow now, though. How old are you? I'm 36. 36. Who ordained you a satanic priest? I would say probably I received the call. <laughs> Just as any fundamentalist. Well, most of us do, but we fight it. <laughs> Why fight it? This is, of course, the whole principle of my religion, is all of the concepts. mean you received the call? You mean one day the devil said, go out, Anton Zandor LeVay, and give people hell. <laughs> huh? Is that what happened? That's about it. That's about it. Because people like to have a hell of a time, don't they? Well, of course, there are all kinds of definitions of that. Well, now... Now, I don't, you know, I mean, to, to marry two people without a license in front of a naked babe lying up on an altar, I don't know what that is. Well, seriously, there are explanations for these things. And how I started was as a result of uh, various reverse forms of therapy. I haven't been a satanic priest all my life, as you probably gathered. You've probably been an inmate part of your life. Well, uh, an inmate in possibly a pretty big institution. Is that where you picked up that yo-yo that hangs around That's your That's not a yo-yo. That's the equivalent of a crucifix. A crucifix? You mean that's your version? This of is not my version. This has been around for a long, long time. It's just a magical symbol symbolizing what? the inversion or the, the opposition or the adversary of the uh, concept that is normally supplied. Are you going to hook up with any paganistic societies? I don't know. Uh, I imagine paganism is just a euphemism for Satanism. People want to get out and run around in the woods without any clothes and all this sort of thing. I don't feel this is necessary. Well, you thought it was necessary to make that girl take her clothing off for that wedding. The girl without clothing... How did you talk her into that? She must be a nut. Well, of course. She's, no, she's not. In fact, I might <laughs> say that most of the people that are in my group are professional people. They're business people. They're people that are from very responsible walks of life. I heard that that marriage is not even legal. Well, it might not be, but as far as I'm concerned, it is because unless they had a piece of paper that uh, said that their blood types were all right and that the... That was uh, it. They had no blood test. That's right. But if they had gone to take this blood test, if they had spent two dollars on this particular little piece of paper that said a civil ceremony was in order, therefore a religious ceremony could be performed, then of course this would be just as legal. I would have married them, incidentally, if they had come to me with that piece of paper. This was requested of me as a religious ceremony. But you don't have the authority under law to perform a marriage. Any minister has the authority under law, under the laws of the Constitution. But you ordained yourself. Well, where would I go to a theological seminary that would teach Satanism? <laughs> We'll be back with a man from down under, and I don't mean Australia, after these words. Stand by. I understand that, uh, what are you doing? I'm giving a blessing to the, to the audience. I don't think they appreciate it. They were throwing it back. Well, they thought it was a curse. Uh, Would you like me to show them how the sign of the curse works? Sign completely of the different. How does it go? No, not at you, not at you people out there in the audience, but this is the difference. Aim it toward Red China, would you? <laughs> this is the sign of the horns. A curse sign, the two fingers extended. This way, spread apart for sort of shotgun blast, you know, I always figured if I ever met the, de the devil, it'd have dirty fingernails. Go on. No, they're not. <laughs> yes, they are. Where, where? Dirty, dirty fingernails. Well, that's because I've been uh, fooling around with your equipment. Never mind. There. Don't blame it on the studio. Go on with All it. All right. So that's the sign of the horn, and then what happens? Is that it? Well, there are other ones, too. Yeah, what are the other ones? The other ones, one of them's the pox sign. That's three fingers extended. A pox on you? A pox on you. During the Middle Ages, this yeah. was... Oh, yes. Yeah. But uh, originally, you're a bad cat. You well, really you have to be bad to be good. Don't is it you? true that you teach people how to make voodoo dolls and stick pins in them to uh, to hurt people? That's right. I believe that hate is necessary in a controlled way, just as much as love is necessary. But could it really work? Of course, it works. It's been working in primitive societies for a long, long time. Well, then how come you don't pick out the despots of the world and make dolls like that and stick pins in them so that the... Oh, you want them to win. You want the bad guys to win, right? Well, I don't say they're necessarily the bad guys or the good guys. It's not up to me because the only people that I would cast a curse or a spell on would be people individually that would sort of get under my skin. 
Why are you staring at me like that? Because after all, uh, hate should be a personalized thing. Do you, do you hate a lot? No, not really. I am a pretty uh, uh, flexible person. The, the newspaper don't... said you used to play a calliope in a circus. I played a calliope. I was a wild animal trainer. You live um, with a lion at home, don't you? Yes, I do. Now, is that just a publicity well, no, story? No, uh, he sleeps with me every night in the bedroom. How much does he weigh? 500 pounds. <laughs> has he been defanged and declawed? No. He Have has, you? He's, he's got full power. <laughs> no, not, uh, not yet. Are you at all afraid that someday, after you get through this big put-on, you know, with your little red yo-yo and your big fat ring <laughs> and your shiny bald head, that when they do pack you away, well, you know, now, if, wait a if minute. there's any justice, you know, you've got to really get it. Uh, justice? No. Well, You've got to really get well, it, baby. Isn't justice sort of a lie most of the huh? time? Isn't the law well, just maybe, tricks, yeah, really? But you see, we're dealing with men, and men make mistakes, but there's somebody made all of us. Well, they made the laws, too. Somebody made this world, and someday, if he could get his hands on a cat like you, <laughs> you could be like horrible example number one. You mean like... Uh, Do you ever think about it? You mean night? like uh, J.C.? Yes. Well... What happens if somebody holds a crucifix up in front of you? Do you melt oh, away? Oh, I, I don't do this, you know, shrink back and hold my cape up. No, no. it doesn't bother me because I have no axe to grind with Christianity. I feel that if Christians are good Christians, they want to be Christians, fine, if it's working for them. Same with any other religion. The mm -hmm. only thing that I would uh, preach would be uh, that people that aren't successfully enjoying their lives as much as they should might sort of flip the coin over and see what's on the other side. You want people to just go full bore, full tilt into sin? No, not full bore, full tilt, because oh, if no, they do... Oh, wait a minute, now, wait a minute. Well, let now, me these, this course, newspaper, newspaper thing here. Uh, what now? For this. Come on. It says right here, let me see if I can find this, this part here, where they couldn't wait to go out and commit the seven deadly sins. I don't see it here, but I remember reading it. Isn't right? that what people get married for, usually? To commit the seven deadly sins? It gives them a piece of paper that says it's all right? Especially the, the first... Se the uh, seven deadly sins? Sure. Think about it, really. Clear your, what head, are, clear your what are, Well, what are the... Do you know what the seven deadly <laughs> sins are? Well, there's a pride. Sloth, pride, that's Sloth. right. The, the girl gets married because then she can go around to all her friends and say, well, I landed him. Sort of crow about it. No girl in her right mind would say that you perform the ceremony. Well, all right. There's a sloth. That's right. laziness. laziness. Doesn't the couple usually go on a honeymoon? They want to lay around after they've committed one of the other sins? I believe the term is lie around. L on the beach or something like I that. I know it's lie yeah. around, but I, I was using another... Yes, I see. All right. We won't go into semantics about this. Good, but, we won't. Uh, and gluttony. Don't we all like to eat until we're full? If we didn't, wouldn't there be uh, no need for diets? No, I don't think so. I don't think people always eat until they're full or we would all look like balloons. Well, then, of course, pride would step in, wouldn't it? And take care of that so that we'd thin ourselves down. We'd well, be sinning then. Would it be pride or would it be self-denial? Self-denial is a sin, I feel, but it's not considered a sin. Are you planning on training a lot of little devils? <laughs> Only those that wish to become little devils. Are you married? Oh, yes. Do you have any little devils? Oh, yes, I have two. Are you going to raise them as satanic kids? Certainly, but not to go around chopping people up or sacrificing human beings, just to... Uh... That would be the greatest reward of all if your kid some night would creep in and set fire to you and your lion. <laughs> well, no. Huh? no and then that... dance around with pitchforks and say, Look at daddy! Look at daddy! Huh? Now, if you sleep with your lion, where does Mrs. Devil sleep? Oh, uh, well, she sleeps with the lion, too, you see. Not between us, though. The lion's on one side. Makes for a nice grouping. I don't, like, I don't believe in separating church and state. There are some people in the dock who would like to speak to you. We'll be going to the dock and the devil after these words. <laughs> State your name, sir. Uh, yes, my name is Jim Jossma. Did you uh, drop in for some devil's food cake or what? What's no, on no, we're. Uh, I first of all, how do I address you? Well, you can call me Mr. Reverend Anton by my first name, whatever. Well, term I'll, you I'll state the Mr. to begin right. with. First of all, I, I'll say one thing: you have a lot of followers, and you're right. <laughs> oh yes, uh, you're right about the devil being a god because the Bible clearly states that the devil is the, the uh, god of this world and he's also the prince of the power of the air. So I don't dispute you on this matter at all. My only Are we question... picking up a new recruit here? <laughs> <laughs>
My only question is this a question basically about death. Personally, I don't think it's a, a funny matter uh, whether you're really sincere in what you believe or whether you are uh, just doing this to gain followers. I mean, it's a pretty serious thing. First of all, uh, everyone dies physically, but you're right. Again, everyone does not die spiritually. And I'd just like to ask you, what do you think is the concept of God? What is your concept of God? What does God do? Is he, uh, in other words, we visualize God as being the ruler of everything that is good and proper. In other words, his attributes are love and, uh, and his almightiness, omnipotence, uh, omnipresence, and so forth. And, of course, we recognize that God has given to this world many wonderful things. Just look at all the, the as far as uh, paintings and the uh, literature that's inspired by God, the, the tremendous things that you see in, in all over the world that God has inspired through literature and music and art. What has the devil given to this world along the lines of, of what we consider as good and proper and just? Yeah, what have you done lately? <laughs> well, certainly you're right. The, uh, the concept of God has given the world much beautiful music, many beautiful works of art, and certainly I feel God exists. But the name for God, of course, is uh, different for many different people. And I feel that God is that force. Whatever God one chooses to pray to or to command in the case of Satanism, rather than pray, I feel whatever God exists should be the God that carries a person along, that carries them through, mm -hmm. that well, makes them a better person, that makes them live a better life and a naturally a more pleasant life. So, and I feel that you have to be kind to yourself, indulgent to yourself, before you know what it's like to be kind to others. True. Now, you brought up one thing about pride. Now, do you think this is uh, a bad thing? No, I think pride is a very good thing. Of you course, have to understand, he likes sin, you see. These things are all euphemisms for, and I feel, rules that are ensured to be broken by the church. Listen, when your wife crawls over that line to say good morning to you, does she refer to you as Beelzebub, or how does she address you? Depends on what, on what mood she happens to be in. Is she also a satanic type? Oh, yes. She yes. approves of all of this? Certainly. She wouldn't be around if she didn't. And how do you make your living? Uh, as uh, a counselor, sorcerer, practicing wizard, shaman, warlock, whatever you wish to call it. You're also a male witch, a warlock. Well, a male witch is considered a warlock. Yeah. You're, you you consider... claim to be a witch, then? Uh, a you male wish? witch, certainly, but not a white witch, not like some of these people that have been on various shows that bend over backwards trying to convince everyone how good they are. They never perform black magic, only white magic. I think this is ridiculous. Could you make that man disappear out of the dock? Out of the dock? Yeah. Why should I want to? I well, could... because we have somebody else coming up. <laughs> of course I can't make him disappear because I am naturally cast in the mold of a human being, and I think this Wanna is... Want to bet? <laughs> it might look... be... Less human and more Mephistophelian to me. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I call him a devil. He's complimented. Would you, would, you, would you state your name, please? Mandy Tennyson. And I think you asked him what I wanted to know. How do you make your living? I make my living, as any other minister does, by the people that come to my congregations, my lecture groups. I do lecture on various occult subjects. It isn't all Satanism. I lecture on voodoo, West Indian magic, African magic. Norse magic, and uh, also uh, try to help people with various problems, enlighten them on these concepts of magic, folklore, and offbeat religions. This is how I got involved in this as a religion. Does it pay well? It pays the bills. I'll Looks like a pretty way. cheap suit you're wearing. It's not even a suit. Now, come to think of it, the jacket doesn't match the trousers. It's pretty much the same as yours. I doubt it. <laughs> I never knew uh, they put no, cups uh, on burlap bags before. Today. Uh, no, this isn't... Uh, uh, you're wearing boots, too, aren't that's you? That's right. These yeah. are the same kind of boots that motorcycle cops Did you come wear. here on a motorcycle? This makes me a sadist, too. Huh? <laughs> are you a sadist also? Oh, yes. Are you also a masochist? Well, a little bit. Right. Maybe that's why I'm here. Any other questions? Well, I would like to know if this actually substantiates your house, your expenses, you have two children, how can you live on... The people that support you, they must have to give you an awful lot of money. Not really, because after all, if a person is conducting themselves in any kind of business, it doesn't have to mean that they're taking a hundred or two hundred or five hundred dollars from each person. My fees are very, I feel, reasonable for my private consultation. Can you picture his kids filling out a form for school? What does your father do? He's a bald-headed devil. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? No, for that's you? all. Thank you. That'll hold. Thank you. <laughs>
You step forward, sir, and state your name, please. Uh, Steve Friedman. Reverend, I'm uh, a little curious about that line you say that you sleep with. How, uh, how can the two of you, uh, your wife and your, yourself, be in bed with the line? <laughs> Probably not easy. Well, the bed is not made for the lion. The lion sleeps next to the bed, at the foot of the bed. How's that for a watchdog? I thought I had a good with a karate monkey. Well, does, doesn't it, uh, doesn't it kind of shake your wife up being so close to the line like that? No, it's a rather secure feeling. You know, there's never any problem of prowlers or burglars. Yeah, but they have been known to turn on you, haven't they? Well, he is chained, so he can only go so far. Well, listen, our time's all up. I'd like to tell you where to go, but you'd enjoy it. Oh, that's right. We'll be back with another guest after these words. Stand by. <laughs>